What's up guys, it's TL Hughes coming at you with a little video about what a gamer wants in a console. A while back we asked everybody to come up with some ideas and to sum up pretty much what they want in a console and what would be new features that would be awesome to see. And we compiled that list and we're about to throw it at your fucking face. So here we go. Reasonably priced consoles. They're sitting at $400, $500 right now. A lot of people would love to see $300, depending on what's inside, though. Like, if they upgraded, like, the specs to a full build of a PC, I wouldn't mind putting in the $400, $500. But they need to up the hardware specs. Which is another area that people want, is hardware that could rival a PC. I know that you're not going to fucking be able to put 64 gigs of RAM in your console. You should be able to upgrade it a little bit at least. Options to buy hardware items separately, not requiring for it to be mandatory, just like the Kinect for the Xbox One. Do not require online activity, like the Xbox One was going to introduce, but backtracked on it. Used games are a serious portion of sales and gameplay, so that would throw a lot of gamers out. Allow anyone to share a game with a friend. Applications for gamers, gaming tools such as live streaming, editing, YouTube application to provide gamers capability to make tutorials, gameplay videos, and guides easier. Web browsing capabilities. Cloud computer and storage. Region free, no region issues at all. High efficiency with no hardware failures. New game ideas, not overly used genres like FPS. Simplified sharing of videos and gameplay with friends. Networking, not just share with friends on Facebook and stuff like that. Like, you could literally record a clip and just send a message to all your friends. They could watch the clip no matter what, if even if they didn't have that game. Higher frame rates and less laggy games. Amped up search options for multiplayer. Like microphone lobbies only. I know I have trouble finding anyone with a microphone, let alone a whole lobby full of uh, people with mics on. Move free reign on game development and open source tools for any game developers. I know there's packages you can get, but they're very limited. High amounts of hard drive space to always have free room. Yeah, 500 gig hard drive that will be coming with the Xbox One and the PS4. I mean, games that are going to be 16 gigs each probably, or at least 10, and if you install it to your hard drive, it's going to fill up so fast you're not even going to know what to do. So they should make it a mandatory 1 terabyte, and allow your own external storage devices, because I have a 2 terabyte right now. I'm looking to get a 6 terabyte, and that will last me forever. Able to upgrade a console like a PC, hardware upgrades, RAM, hard drive, uh, CPU even, maybe. I know all games should be able to run on the console. They should make it more like PC where you can change the settings. Upgraded battery packs for wireless controllers make them last longer and cheaper. Blu-ray discs are must. All media like the Xbox One but with more focus on games not just TV. They focused a lot on the TV and not on the games when they did their reveal. I mean obviously they let out all about all the games but it seems like they were trying to get into all the media aspects first which I mean if you're a game console you need to focus on the games. Always allow backwards compatibility, even if it's hardly used, still incorporate it because there's a lot of people that love it. They love the nostalgia of going back to an old game and you know, they might have already gotten rid of their console or it broke or they sold it to get the new one. So now they don't have the old one and they can't play their old games. And you know, I mean, I love that nostalgia of going back to Halo 2 and just playing around. More uses for USB, not just cameras and stuff like that. You should be able to connect all kinds of stuff with USB ports and put a shit ton of USB ports on the console. A gaming console equipped with multimedia features, not a media device equipped with gaming features. Just like I said a few moments ago, like the Xbox One, they, it seems like they focused more on the TV and stuff first than the games. More games and better quality games. I mean, we're, it, it's just getting annoying to see Call of Duty putting almost the same shit out every year. And what really pisses me off about that is people think it's like so changed and so revolutionary. But if you look at their profiles, 99.99% of them 
haven't even played single player at all. All they do is go straight to multiplayer and play the shit out of that for years and years and years, or at least a year until the next one comes out. What the fuck is the point of that? Why would you spend $60 pretty much on a map pack? That's what you're doing. You're getting a set of new maps, a couple of new guns, and shit like that. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. But to me, it's starting to get repetitive and very annoying. We need a game changer here. So this concludes all the lists that I have currently. If there's any more, give us a shout out and we'll make another update video. But we're trying to get this across everywhere. Share this on Facebook, Twitter, spread the word. Everyone spreads this. Hopefully we can get a hold of Microsoft and Sony and they'll see the shit and they'll be like, fuck yeah, these guys are right. We're gamers. We know what we want and you need to listen to us if you want to better your sales and improve the market. It's TL Hughes signing out. Peace.